You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 20 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about the week after Survivor Series, I guess, or Survivor Series week. Sure. The week before Thanksgiving? Yeah, whatever you want Something to call like it. That. Yeah. All right. Um, what was a good weekend for wrestling? Which was followed, it, up followed by, by not very good <laughs> SmackDown and Raw shows. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is post pay per view usually bad? No. Which is funny because they usually have a good turnout viewer wise. Yeah. No. Post pay per view. This was atrocious. I don't know what they were doing. Because like literally nothing happened on Raw. Well, we got what four weeks right till TLC. I guess it's the sixteenth. So yeah, maybe so it's three. Give or take. Well, now th- it'll be three weeks now. Yeah. <clears throat> they need that uh, garbage two weeks, and then they'll set it up really quickly. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. Well, the, obviously, we know the Universal title won't be defended. No. And the IC title's already been made, or the match yes. has been made. Yeah, which was me. Was it Monday night? Yeah, it was Monday night, right? Oh, no, it was at the pay-per-view. Yeah, he, yeah, Seth uh, was told Nakamura. Yeah, for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, before we get into Raw and SmackDown, no, I was just saying oh, that yeah. l- largely everything is set up already. So it's for the most part, yeah. yeah so it's kind of hard to assume that they're gonna be doing much. Well, all right. So Daniel Bryan versus AJ is set up. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, Seth versus Dean, mm-hmm. uh, Corbin and Braun, Braun, which might not happen because Braun is legitimately hurt yeah well yeah he hurt his, his knees or no whatever. no it's elbow he oh, has that was he, actually no, no 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 they that's how they played it off but apparently he had bone spurs in his elbow oh, he, okay. i think it required surgery yeah i think they said he was gonna be out for a month so uh, i don't know if this match is up in the air or whatnot gotcha um they're doing ray versus nakamura at starcade so i don't know if there's any plans to move forward with that or if that's a one-off might be a one-off, and Randy Orton just beats him up again. Yeah, I guess that's true. You would guess. think, yeah. Well, what will probably happen is Ray will win it, and then... Oh, and Orton they'll just utilize that in yeah. the uh, the feud between the two of them? Mm-hmm. I guess that makes sense. That, that would be my guess. Um, <clears throat> that was probably the best match between Raw and SmackDown. There wasn't it was, many. It was like five minutes long, but they utilized it pretty pretty well yeah but again i'm getting ahead of myself a little bit um takeover i thought that was a very good show yes um the beginning was confusing with matt Rowe coming out well they originally scheduled it to be on the card yeah. and then they said it wasn't going to be on the card and then they put it on the card but i'm guessing they didn't schedule it because people were going to look forward to a match and all of a sudden it was 10 seconds and then people probably would have been pissed I guess, but why bother having it 10 seconds long? I don't know. But, but yeah, basically, uh, Riddle gave Ono a, a knee. He knocked was, him out. That was it. Um, the women's title match wasn't that bad? No, it was all right. It could have gone longer, probably. Yeah, and... It was considering it was a two out of three falls. Yeah. But it was it was pretty good. Um, kind of ends the... I guess the series between the, three, the two of I, them. I would assume it kind of reignited everything now that Io Shirai oh and, yeah that's true uh, I forgot okay yeah and um Dakota Kai Dakota yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess that's true right yeah I didn't think so of that. now it's three on three yeah that makes sense because well, I don't think we uh I mean we're talking about this and we haven't watched it in it's months true. so I don't know how much involved the other um, I'm, I'm sure that are around have. yeah that'd be my guess yeah. um then we had uh Next was Black versus Gargano. Yes. That was really good. That was very good, yeah. Um, and then... Dream and Ciampa. Yeah, which was even better. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I loved, the Hogan. loved <laughs> Velveteen Dream as Hollywood Hulk Hogan. It was fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> it's really upsetting that he's going to come up and get ruined. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, his character, he's got that down. Mm-hmm. But I feel like even from his last singles match to this match, you could just see the improvement, mm-hmm. especially since we've, I've only been watching really through the Yeah, paper, well, you're only going to see the takeover. Right, so. right. It just seemed like he was very, uh, not shaky, but not. it wasn't as, uh, I don't know. 
His just it just seemed like he more confident. Yeah, I guess it's the confidence. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, and then to kind of backpedal a little bit, the ending of Black versus Gargano with uh, all your sins. W- yeah, with <laughs> the two black masks. Yeah, and Gargano's just like standing there yeah. taking it. He said he lost a couple teeth. I don't know if that was actually <laughs> true, but well, it certainly looked like. No, it. yeah, yeah, definitely believable. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, the, it was a very solid pay per view. Yep. And then, and uh, then War Games was in. Eh. Yeah, I mean it was it was it's too decent. Busy. It was yeah, there's a lot going on. Too much on. stuff going on at once. It's hard to pay attention. Mm-hmm. And the camera angles don't always help. No, no, because you know, one... it's in a cage. There's two different rings that things are going <laughs> it's in on two at cages. once. And the camera guys are confused enough normally yep. with one ring and no cage. So it's true, especially at the NXT shows. Yeah, it's so. not jumping all around. Mm-hmm. But it was entertaining. Yeah, absolutely. Um. So, and, and we yeah. had, it was um, Ricochet and Pete Dunn and the both, War Raiders. They, no, well, I was going to uh, say the two of them pinned. Oh, it? Adam Cole. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yep. But yeah. Yeah. That well, was, good it show. was a good show. Not a surprise there. No. Um, Moving on to Survivor Series, right? Yeah. We had the Smack a SmackDown tag team. Well, that team was. <laughs> win on the free show. Yep. And then completely lose every match on uh so they the, did a clean sweep except mm-hmm. for the fact we don't count the pre-show yes that's apparently what we all know uh-huh. now it's but, they've said it well because when you said that mm-hmm. because you started watching a little before i did yeah that i guess that smackdown's win on the pre-show didn't, didn't count, count. Yeah. there's a reason for it yeah because well, the whole clean sweep thing yeah because i'm like why would they have if they have an odd number of matches why would they make the odd number right. an even number if they're going to have it split? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, that's because it wasn't so going to be split. It's because it wasn't going to be split. <laughs> yep. So, Because usually you'd think that's what they're going to do. Usually, but, yeah. But unfortunately, but yeah, that wasn't Raw, the case. Raw won every match. Um, the women's um, Survivor Series match, they had Sasha and Bailey replace. Yeah, Ruby and, and uh, uh, Natalia. Natalia. That kind of evened out the match to begin with. Yeah, and it made more sense because it was just very mind-boggling why they it's were left off the card. Granted, Ember Moon was also left off the card. Yeah, but I think she's a little more disposable than the other two it's are. It's true, but I mean, I guess <laughs> she probably would have been in uh, Tamina's spot. If they didn't want to push them pushing Nia Jax. Tamina and Nia Jax, and jeez. Um, Got a lot of heat. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what happens when you injure the most over person in the company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the Raw team now no longer being the the weaker one. Right, right. It obviously ended up winning. Yeah, um, and uh, Asuka did not look great. She was uh, kind of made to look like a fool. Well, to be fair, they're, they're really trying to push Naya. I know, and it's... It's I don't know it's a, it's weird situation because you know you're kind of rewarding someone for being careless in the ring, but because it works with the fans and you know it gets her over as a heel yeah. as po- you know with yeah. Ronda being the baby it's it's so weird because then we had Ronda and Charlotte where Ronda came out the heel because the fans in, you know in the fans eyes because she got booed out yep. And then it's like, all right. Oh, that was funny. Oh, my God. That was fantastic. She, she allegedly was very unhappy with the reaction she got. Yeah. And it was um, funny. Um, I think Shayna Baszler took, uh, wrote on Twitter that uh, she said the UFC fans are even more fickle than WWE fans. <laughs> Which, sure, I'll take her word for it. Whatever. I don't know. It was just funny. Yeah. Um, then it was, after that, it was, I don't remember. Was it? Was it a tag match? What, after the women's? Yeah. Uh, it was probably the tag match. Yeah. AOP versus... AOPP. Uh, AOPP, yeah. AOPP versus <sighs> um, the bar. Christ. For whatever reason, they had AOP go over. Well... I guess it, the whole, it would just fit into the, the narrative. So, this was when all four men were in the ring, mm. and... They had their uh, managers outside, big and little. Um, Enzo was in the crowd. Yes, and that did he happen. Stood up and 
Tried to get himself over. I'm it. doing fine. Yeah. That's what his shirt said. <laughs> or I'm nope. doing good or something nope. like that. I don't know about you, but do you know anybody who's been uh, let go by the WWE that's ever tried to pull this shit? No. <laughs> I mean, if anybody was I, going to do it, it would be him. I don't can't believe that he actually got into the building. I don't know. Unless it's some sort of... Um, I, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not even. You think gonna, it's a word? No, I'm not you even. Really think say it's it. a word? No, no. It was a publicity stunt because his stupid CD just came out. I guess, but and then he had like 30 people show up to his concert. The though. man went crazy. I guess so. I didn't so. think he was sane to begin with. Well, it went crazier then. So I guess. Yeah, I I don't think that was a work. No, I know, but yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, you get in, and all of a sudden, and then on Raw, somebody took a picture when uh, I guess where they were entering the arena and they said do not let this man in and it was a picture of Enzo. so <laughs> well it wasn't the same place so i guess it makes sense yeah 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 so that's very funny mm-hmm. um so uh drake maverick peed himself yes that because uh, the big show was uh, holding him with his hand well you know i guess had his hand around his throat yeah so that's squeeze the urine out of him yep. which became a joke on monday night mm-hmm. which led to bobby Roode and chad gable beating the authors of pain mm-hmm so you had the Authors of Pain go over the SmackDown Tag Team Champions the night before and then lose to the new job squad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then you had your Tag Team Champions on Tuesday lose to getting hit with a pie in the face. Wow. And all you, the clippings from you, the uh You kind of expect that feast. from the New Day, though, yeah. at the very least. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they really don't know what to do with the Tag Team It's pain. just... It's bad. Like, when we... Th- Talk about all the things that are treated terribly, you know, the women, the NXT call-ups. The tag teams really stick out. It's worse for them, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had the men's elimination. Well, we skipped, well, we I think, skipped I think Nakamura and Seth were oh, yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that was second. That was, it, it happened. Bad. It wasn't bad. No. It was, you know, I don't know, there's no build to it, so. No, well, yeah, because they made it clear that Seth didn't care yeah. about facing Nakamura. Right, right. Which kind of having him win is kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, a little bit. Because then at least you're like, oh well, I probably should have been paying more attention. Right, right. Uh, and it makes Nakamura look even worse. Oh, yeah. I mean. Because he said that he's been eating, sleeping, and drinking. <laughs> Seth. Yeah, and then he loses. Uh huh. Um, although, frankly, I wanted, I would like to see Seth win over Nakamura, but it makes sense for him to yeah. win, at least in, you know, his ranking, so to speak, mm-hmm. in. But yeah, the way they built it, it kind of yeah, no. fell flat. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then we had the... With the women's, right? Yeah, we had Charlotte versus Ronda. Which was a very good match. It was very it good. It was very enjoyable. Um, At one point, Charlotte rolls out of the ring, and uh, Ronda follows her, and then they kind of just show Ronda, and then all of a sudden, Charlotte, Charlotte just starts Beating smacking her with a kendo yep. stick. That was great. Yeah. And we, we didn't know... I mean, I feel like that might have been the original finish to the match, and they just ran with it. What, you mean Becky doing that? Yeah. I guess that would make sense. So, well, the nice thing about Charlotte and Becky is that, like, they could be very interchangeable. Yeah. Because they both have submission moves that they use as their finishers. They're we'll, both very athletic. We'll get into that a little more when SmackDown comes okay. up. Um, but then we had the men's five-on-five. Yeah, poor Joe. Not poor Joe, but still. <laughs> he deserves uh, it. Everything you've said about the man. <laughs> I'm always... Yeah, I'm right. I'm not wrong. Don't worry. His fellow jobbing brethren was soon eliminated in Finn Balor. Mm. Not a surprise. Granted, Finn is like half the size of most of the men on Team Raw. He's so. smaller than Shane. Yeah. So, And that's saying something. Mr. Sweaty Balls. Yeah. So... What was it, Joe and then Finn, and mm-hmm. then they kept it going for a while. Yeah, yeah, then it said... Uh, then yeah. Shane eliminated McIntyre. Mm-hmm. Not McIntyre, Ziggler. So, yeah, Ziggler, right, right, right. And, you know. and, then, <laughs> and then it was Mysterio got eliminated. Yep. Uh, Miz got eliminated, and mm. then Shane got eliminated. Right. Yeah, because it was Lashley... Strowman yeah, Lashley Strowman and McIntyre all. Which, when you had Braun and Shane in the ring together, I was like, oh man, I wish Strowman would rip off his shirt and have a SmackDown Live <laughs> shirt underneath. But nope, he just beat up Shane and that was it. And yeah. it was like, okay, that was over. Yeah. I mean, granted, it, it was kind of overbooked a little bit 
Not like last year, which was an absolute shit show. Yeah, well, because after Joe was eliminated, they kind of took out Braun for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So. Because Shane hit the elbow off the rope through the table yeah. onto Strowman. He hit, what, another coast-to-coast one on Ziggler? He hit, like, two of them. Did like, he hit two? two or three of them in Well, a then row. he went for the third one, then he got closed on by right. He went Strowman. for three yeah. in a row then. Um, but it was, it was a mess. Yeah, pretty much. And then uh, Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar, and we thought Daniel Bryan was going to die. It was a good match, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turned, they turned it around. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, what you have to do with Lesnar. Yeah, I very much like the way they did it. It Because worked. Lesnar beat him up entirely for the beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daniel Bryan got... Well, you get the crowd so annoyed, and then all of a sudden Daniel yeah. Bryan comes like, back. Oh, then he like, might oh, actually shit, do it. Do it. And then, to be fair, like, normally I don't like this. But having Daniel Bryan like get so close, and then Lesnar just doing it like that. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm okay with well, that. They did with, that with AJ last year too. Yeah, but I'm just saying like normally I don't like it because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Right. But here, it's like Brock like really put what he had into it, kind of thing. <laughs> what he had, yeah. That's yeah. Because <laughs> like obviously he doesn't have a whole lot left. No, no, no. He's no. gassed usually walking to the ring. That's true. So. But it was it was a it was a good show. Yeah, it did not disappoint by no, any no, means. No, 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 I wouldn't say um, that. Especially considering it was so one sided. Like, yeah, well, yeah. that and the fact that in years past the mm-hmm. matches have been crazier. Yeah. Right. So, well, I mean, the uh, tag team match on the pre show was all types of ridiculousness. <laughs> it was sloppy. It was. Mm-hmm. We well, had all three Lucha house party members. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It was only two of them. Oh, oh and, yeah, that's uh, right. Because oh, Kalisto got hurt. Yeah, and Wilson Grand, Carr got hurt. Grand Metal League. He was just laying coming. on the outside, and all of a sudden they changed men. And Corey's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> that's cheating, Byron. Oh, my God. Yep. All right. We're just going to highlight Raw and SmackDown since it, they were not good. Does that mean we're done? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I guess that's fair. Uh, okay. So, yeah, well, we get Corbin gets, you know, credited for bringing Team Raw to Mm -hmm. uh, victory since he uh, went, I guess, undefeated. Yeah. Which, you know, I think we had a six and one chant, maybe. Probably. At that point. Yep. And then this whole thing turned, you know, Corbin versus Brock, uh, I mean, uh, Braun Braun. at TLC, Mm -hmm. which we all knew was going to happen. Yeah. And uh, Corbin. There's a stipulation put on the match. If Corbin loses, he won't be. If Corbin loses, he's no longer. He doesn't have any. No authority, authority whatsoever. Right. But if he wins, he won't be he gets constable to be, anymore. <laughs> he'll get to be what? The Raw GM, right? Or Raw, yeah. yeah permanent. Permanent Raw GM. Or yeah. I guess as permanent mm-hmm. as they get. Yep. And if Braun wins, he gets to fight the big sweaty man at Royal Rumble. I can't believe they announced it for the Royal Rumble. <laughs> like, I knew we, we knew it was going to happen. Yeah, I can't yeah, believe yeah. they said it on TV. Yeah. What was it? Braun Kane and... Yes. Brock? Yep. Last year. Jesus. Um, But what they should have said is that you'll get your title shot. Mm -hmm. Because that makes it seem like there's a chance that it's not going to be too much. Well, now, now. who knows? Because... If if he gets it. Yeah. Now, let's say Braun is hurt. Mm Mm-hmm. And he can't be the next one to face Brock Lesnar. Who is going to face Brock Lesnar? Dolph Ziggler. Nah. I hope it's Drew. It's going to... German suplex him over the rope through the announce table. <laughs> I hope it's Drew, and I hope Drew kicks. I think off. Drew was probably going to be saved for Mania or something. What Drew versus Brock? Yeah, I don't. Isn't Brock supposed to drop the title at the Rumble? I don't think so. Oh well, he only signed for two matches. Oh, is that all he signed yeah, for? Yeah, signed uh-huh. for Survivor Series and the title. Defense. Okay, there you go. Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's that's what I was. Oh, under I didn't. I didn't of. know that. Yeah. yeah. He's going to carry it for another two years. Who he you could. Kidding? Well, until Roman comes back, if he comes back. <laughs> no, what'll happen is uh, Strowman won't be able to wrestle, so they'll just forego that match. He'll be busy on WrestleMania. They'll just keep going. I joke, but... Nah, <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong, yeah. that's for sure. And then all of a sudden, this became a six-man tag between... Yeah, uh, a six-man tag elimination Yes, match. yes, because we needed that just yeah. when we had uh, so elimination matches. Raw opened with a segment that lasted 50 minutes. Yep. Mm-hmm. 50 minutes yep unreal no i mean smackdown was was right there i know but raw it feels worse because they still got two hours left well you don't have a problem with three hours of raw normally 
<laughs> like when they had the hour and a half long gauntlet match, that was cool. That was cool. Stuff was going that on. That was different, and this, there was actual. This is a six man tag that nobody cares about. It's true. There's um, nothing going on here. Yeah, so the team was Braun, Elias, and Finn. Exactly. Who Elias has feuded with both of them in the last six months. Yeah. Uh, versus, what was it, Drew, Lashley, and Corbin. Yeah, not even Ziggler. No. Why would no you he put wasn't Zig- even on the show, was he? No, but why wouldn't you put Ziggler in the match instead mm. of Lashley? Makes no sense. Anyway, heels won. Um, I no, got, the, no the, yeah, the match kind of just ends. thrown out. Yeah. It was, what was it? It was Braun versus the three, the of, three them. of them. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And then they just all beat the crap out of him. Yeah. Oh, and then they Braun beat him was with bloody. The, yeah. Hit him with the stairs. Mm-hmm. And that's where he gets hurt. Yep. Um, yep, yep. It, it's just too much. Mm-hmm. Too much. And then we played uh, Cat and Mouse with Dean and Seth all night. The whole show. But, I mean, this is... This is what they used to do, you know. They used to. I mean, they they still do it every so often. Oh, you were to to like back in the day throughout the whole show, yeah. probably because people would stay tuned in to, yeah, to see, see what, what the payoff. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. which makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I, by no means, was this bad. It's no. just it kind of feels like they don't really have anything else mm-hmm. to do. Yeah, like in any at all, because like they took up so much time with these two. Yeah. It's like, is anyone else going to do anything kind of kind of deal? Yeah. Um, uh, was this when Dean made reference to Roman having to answer to the man upstairs? Uh, or was probably. that later on? I mean, we can just talk about the I, whole thing. I think he did. Yeah. I think it was that time. Yeah, a lot of people weren't happy with that. Well, you know, but apparently see- it's going to continue. That's the rumors. That what? They're going to continue referencing Roman and stuff like that. Yeah, it's funny. When that happened, I, I was going to text him, like, yeah. they're still doing it. Yeah, I don't... I don't, not, I don't get it. I, you know, the man has obviously given them the, the I guess, the right, or not the right, but the... We're talking about the character. No, we're not talking about the guy. Well, no. But I was going to say, Roman ob- or Joe obviously gave him permission. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not like they're doing it in bad taste towards him. It's true. And, you know, Vince has never shied away from being edgy, no. if that's what you want to call I it. I guess. So I, I don't mind it, to be perfectly honest, because he's not, they're not doing anything that isn't. I'm not wishing him harm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean they don't. They're, uh, they're friends in real life. I think Dean and Roman are very good friends yeah. in real life, to be perfectly mm-hmm. honest. So, I and if if it was the other way around, because I don't think Seth and Roman are as close as they used to be, from the like the interviews mm-hmm. and all that crap that no. I've seen over the years, um, <clears throat> that it would probably be a little different. Yes, but mm. either way, yep. Um, eventually. Seth leaves. He's like, I guess I'll just have to wait for a TLC. And then um, Dean's like, okay, it's safe now. He goes to the ring. Yep. And then he starts talking, making fun of the smelly uh, LA people. And then uh, Seth's like, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. And runs from no the parking high. lot to the ring. Yep. And uh, mm-hmm. then they fight. Uh, Dean tries to run away. Seth doesn't let him. But low blow, dirty deeds. Yep. Twice. And that's how he closed the show. Mm-hmm. Um. And then and there there was just a lot of crap in between. Yeah, like Sasha and Bailey versus Nia and Tamina. This they are just yeah, it's like bad. there's nothing that really no, it's not interesting at all. Yeah, I just can't wait for Nia to get beaten up by Ronda, and then that'll be the end of it. <laughs> and then later on, when Ronda came out and cut the promo, mm-hmm. which she was full baby face again, yeah. it, like when she came out, and then all of a sudden it like started. You know, they started chanting Becky and oh, whatever yeah. else. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and then she ended up beating Mickey James because she challenged anybody in the locker room. And then Corbin yeah. came out, and I was really hoping for Corbin. Versus <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, You're gonna challenge me, <laughs> Baron Corbin. Look at you. You're not in. You're short. <laughs> um, yeah, this was just Ronda trying to be a badass because of what happened. Oh, because you got uh, made a fool yeah, the night pretty before? Much. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, then, like I said, Mickey came out, accepted her challenge, and then Ronda made her tap out. I like the fact up. that Corbin's like, whoever comes out is going to be the next women's champion. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's nobody who's actually going to come out and beat her. Yeah. 
Um, then, like we talked about earlier, we got AOP. some making fun of uh, yeah. Drake Maverick for peeing his pants. Because they, they were, were in like catering. Yeah, and it was funny because it wasn't even like they had just wrestlers making fun of them. They had like random staff. Yeah, and even uh, a couple fill ins. Like I saw Delilah Doom back there. She's an indie wrestler. She mm. was back there in catering, um, which her boyfriend was actually one of the enhancement talents on Tuesday. I guess they Shane. were they were in the same area yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole week. Yeah. So. Um, and then it ended with Gable making fun of him, and then obviously Bobby Roode finishing the punchline or whatever the hell it was. And yeah. you know, Dre Fire was like, "You'll be sorry." <laughs> so, and bad. then we got that match later on, mm-hmm. and uh, Chad Gable and Bobby Roode won. Yeah, I uh, I missed the ending of this I, match. I didn't really. I care just know that. they won. That's it. I I there is no interest in the authors of pain at all they were one-dimensional characters in nxt that i didn't care for but they worked a little more because it was i don't know well their voice piece to... was a little better yeah too. that's true because you have that little it was their guy. dad yeah instead of their stepdad <laughs> with the uh with the t- the dyed hair and the, the fake tan and yeah he wants to be cool he wants to be their friend it's like all companies now oh, we can get one guy to do two jobs instead of two different people. I guess we'll that's do that. true. That is a good we'll do point. That. Um, Although it's not like he's doing double work or anything. No, not really. Because I'm now sure he's he show up for both shows. Because well, no, that's the thing. He probably <laughs> had to be at oh, yeah, Raw they're technically anyway. Raw stars. Because I am sure all cruiserweights need to be at Raw. Yeah. You know what they probably do? Hmm. They have them all go to Raw in case they need to fill in something. I guess you that would make sense. It right? Does yeah. yeah. We've seen them when they've had uh, break apart brawls and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, <clears throat> and, and now, now oh we have the Lucha House Party on, on Raw as normal wrestlers, normal wrestlers, and uh, beating the Revival again. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm like, how low can they go? And it was Lucha House Party rules, so it's three on two. <laughs> Is this? i was wondering why it was a handicap match i guess that's what they said that's that's what they said i mean i like that poor revival lucha, lucha house party <laughs> rules pinatas and whatnot yeah. how do you not have them go over here that Who, makes the, the revival? revival it makes no sense <laughs> does it because it's just they just keep on looking worse and worse and worse yeah. and worse and worse. Oh, I, we forgot the cruiserweight title match from Survivor Series. Oh, that was really good. Those poor son of bitches, I just dead. No, all right. So when people don't want to see people get pushed, they boo. Mm-hmm. Vince sees a reaction, continues to push them. Mm-hmm. How about you just shut the hell up? Just be <laughs> silent. Nobody's gonna be like, "Well, this guy's not getting a reaction." All right, nothing. Like they do with the cruiserweights. Why do you think the cruiserweights don't get yeah, put true. on the shows? It's true. It's because nobody gives them a reaction. Then all of a sudden, they, they got a reaction finally from the crowd. Yeah. It took, it you a know, a match, Spanish though. fly off the announce table. Yeah, it but, was a good match. Um, yeah, yeah, no, they, they put on a very good show. I can't believe how good Buddy Murphy got. Yeah. Well, I, that's the thing. You get put into a situation where you're not able to show all your talents. Yeah, I, I guess mean, that's true. Who, who was you? What was it? Murphy and... It was Blake uh, Blake and, and Murphy. Murphy. That's right, yes. Yeah. Because no one thought anything of them. No. Because they are they were, ma- uh, ma- I guess Bliss was their manager. manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she kind of took all the spotlight right. anyway. They were kind of just seen as a crappy tag team. Dude, yeah, well, it was funny because we started watching. They were the tag team champions. Yeah, we didn't care at all. Didn't, and, and then, then all of a sudden. All, all villains, I think. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden they went to Oblivion and then Alexa Bliss was, was it. And then all of a sudden Buddy Murphy shows back yep. up on the scene. And there you go. See, you're able to reinvent yourself. But again. It's somebody taking that opportunity and running with it. It's and that's true. really what Blake Murphy has done. So rewarding him seems like the only thing that makes sense. And yeah. that's like Becky. You think the whole women's evolution thing, it probably could have gone by the wayside. It's true. It could have very Now quickly. you've seen her and Charlotte to an extent. Granted, it's probably being written for her, but she's doing a good job yeah. doing it. Well, she's doing, like you said, a good job presenting. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, obviously not everything can be made like on their own right there's but no I mean, one like going becky's out gone there. that extra step in yeah, doing it on twitter instagram that, everything. that is that is true yeah. she has been very active mm-hmm. and i mean so. that's those are your tools to utilize getting yourself over mm-hmm. in 2018 yeah and they they want you to do it right absolutely and they don't even seem to care Just if it don't makes argue sense with dave Meltzer or someone like that <laughs> yeah i guess so 
But for the most part, they don't even care if it makes sense. No, they let Ronda spew her garbage well, on there. Yeah. But I meant more of like for their character because oh. there's a lot of like heels doing baby mm-hmm. face stuff and yeah. stuff like that. That's true. So, I mean, but, granted, all the TV time that we get for WWE, they're still not able to allocate that equally to everybody. So you got to use what you can. That's true. But you, I don't granted, even think... Ty Dillinger has been trying to do that too. I, I, although I can't say that equally is the correct word. I, properly. Proper. All right. Fair enough. That's fair. Word. Yes. Absolutely. So. Um, and then in the main event of the show was the main event match, I should say, was Addy versus Ruby Riot. I guess which... it happened at like ten thirty though. It was the last match to go on. I guess, but that's not actually the de- definition of the main event. <sighs> you really want to call match. this the main event on this show? Yes, it deserved to be the main event. I guess it was probably the best part of it. No, the best part was 11.01. Yeah. It was nice. The show ended at exactly 11. It was <laughs> yep. fantastic. All right. So let's talk about SmackDown, which you didn't watch. No. So I'm going to talk about SmackDown. I'm going to listen. So, all right. So Charlotte came out and did her whole thing about, you know, nice. I uh, mean, no now. beer left in there. No, there was a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, she she did it for The Rock. I mean, for Becky. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think about. Paige says that because you put your hand on five officials, you're getting fined a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it was just like ridiculous. Uh-huh. So then the iconics come out. Charlotte threatens them, and all of a sudden we have Charlotte versus Billy Kay, and it's mm-hmm. like, all right, I guess you can continue your mean streak against the lowest performers on. And I guess the only other heels on the pretty much, the roster. yeah. So then she beats Billy Kay, obviously, very easily. Mm-hmm. So then she calls out Peyton, and Peyton gets in the ring, and they have a match, too. And You, t- that you ends, too, you uh, weird-sounding woman. Uh, ends in a DQ, and that was, like, the first half hour of the show. And it just felt like, I don't know, they tried to push Charlotte in that Becky role. And, I mean, it connected a little bit. Like, I didn't, you know, Charlotte still did a good job with it, but... Mm-hmm. Well, Charlotte's supposed to, or a better heel than she is. Oh, absolutely, face. yeah. And uh, as I've been theorizing, I don't know if anything's come out since um, since I last checked, but if Becky is going to be out for an extended period of time, yeah. you have your heel champion, right, or right. your heel presence yeah, at yeah, the very least, absolutely. So, and <clears throat> I think that if she comes back, Becky, she can team with Charlotte as bad guys. Oh, so bad. <laughs> Because that it makes sense. Because obviously Charlotte's not going to be feuding with her anymore. That's over. For now. I mean, you know. Well, you, you can but, just get. Thanks for keeping my, you know, seat warm. Well, but, uh, let's or. let's assume that I was assuming that she's not going to drop the title. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that if Becky's not going to be out for long, mm-hmm. having Charlotte as a heel, the two of them can be teaming together. Yeah. Charlotte will be more of an enforcer than a than a like actual competitor yeah and this way you're not having two people the same two people for the next eight months like feuding we already for had the same title yeah you know what i mean because mm-hmm. you can put oscar back in the picture you can give naomi another shot yeah carmella sure. face carmella she can you know be in a title contender match yeah she won't win it but no. she can be but in i mean the contender if- match if they were really happy with what they got from Charlotte and Rousey, and they end up going that route for Mania, that is fine too. Could have Becky versus Oscar and oh, that's build true. it up, yeah. yeah. And I would be fine with mm-hmm. that. Would I be? It? You know, would it suck that Becky didn't get the spot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, that's not a call we can make. It's that's... true. Even a triple threat match would that be would cool. be fine as well. Yeah. yeah. Or or a fatal four way to... and you throw Oscar in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. a lot can happen between now and WrestleMania. So. True. Uh, but then, you know, you throw in the winner of the Rumble and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's just hard to imagine how they're going to do Ronda, a Raw superstar, versus yeah. we're talking about all SmackDown superstars here. Yeah. Well, the winner of the Rumble gets a shot at yeah, I guess choosing, it, right? Yeah, I guess it would be Charlotte who wins so, the Rumble then. That's what it seems like. And she is undefeated in the mixed match challenge Mm -hmm. and aj is no longer the wwe champion okay so that's upsetting it makes the most sense that's upsetting but it doesn't mean that aj is going to win the rumble no but he i tried to watch it again last night it wouldn't really yeah that's weird 
Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I can only assume that it was... Actually, yeah, I'm sure it was entertaining. Yeah. It was uh, R Truth. Oh no, it was it was um Carmella and R Truth versus Rusev and Lana. Oh, that's yeah. probably very yeah. entertaining. I gotta go um, make sure I watch that. Mm-hmm. Alright, so you had Shane as the guest on Miz T V. Yeah. And Miz was sucking up to Shane. Probably because he lost the match a couple nights earlier. It wasn't brought up at all. Really? Nothing from Survivor Series brought up outside of Shane hobbling to the ring. And, you know, how they did such fantastic work with him doing the coast-to-coast things. Like, no, didn't complain about getting completely shut out. That wasn't brought up. So, the finalist who loses the match at the World Cup gets fired. Yep. But they get (laughs) annihilated at Survivor Series, and they don't mention it. Pretty much. Okay. At least I don't recall it being brought up. I don't think they did. I I believe you. It, It just... Like, it, the segment was funny. Like, they, they did a good well, job. The Miz, the, yeah, every week, the could, they're probably building funny. toward Miz for Shane McMahon, to be honest. I heard a rumor that that's going to happen yeah. with Shane being a heel and the Miz mm-hmm. turning face. So, But, uh, yeah, then Miz said that, you know, he's two-thirds best in the world and Shane's one, you know, a third because he won the two matches. Yeah. So they end up uh, getting into a tag match. I, I do like that idea, though. It's kind of funny. What? The, the two-thirds best in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, enhancement talent. Uh, Miz is showboating in front of Shane. He gets rolled up. Mm-hmm. And that's in Shane's look at him. Good job, dumbass. Yeah. So, we had the usual Thanksgiving um, match. Well, it says New Day dressed up as pilgrims and Truth dressed up as the Gobble the Euchre. Yes, this was that was a little backstage segment. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we had the Thanksgiving feast fight. That's what it was called. On commentary, Corey said to Byron, I hope the New Day share their blankets with you. Their blankets of smallpox that the pilgrims threw on the Indians. <laughs> wow. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> well, Corey Graves has always been good at saying very, very good yeah. things to Byron Saxon. Because I, didn't, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to it. And Christine was like, what the hell did he just say? And then she repeated it. And I just died laughing. That is. Pretty I was like, bad. "Wow, that's fantastic!" That's and then they bad. all said what they were thankful for, and you know, that's when they brought. Oh, uh, Xavier Woods had six and one on his uh, pilgrim outfit, which is fantastic. I think he changed his name on Twitter to it as well. So uh, yeah, he was going all out with it, and they. See, would- so that's that's another good thing about WWE's like, like choosing to not acknowledge things mm-hmm. that the wrestlers can. Yeah. So they go and, the, and it's, it's just not funnier. like it matters. Yeah. You know. It was on the pre-show. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they, they go over the bar. <laughs> like, like I said, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I think it was a pie to the face. That I, lo- did it. I love that you just wrote it like that, though. Something Being happens. honest, uh, yeah, we had another Oscar and Naomi tag match against Sonya and Mandy. Yeah, I don't care. Just, Sonya taps out to the Oscar. Th- it didn't further anything. We didn't get no. any, you know, anything. Especially considering Mandy they're and... still having Sonya and Mandy team together. Yeah, I fact... figured we were at least going to get some sort of split there. Yeah, because but... they keep on teasing it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> and then Daniel Bryan does his thing, or yes, the movement or whatever the hell it is is dead. New Daniel Bryan, Daniel Dick Kicker, as I call him. That's um, what I was laughing at. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> You know, he had all this time to uh, think, think about when he was in the hyperbaric chamber. Um, you yeah. mean on TV every week? <laughs> no, well, I guess it was before that yeah. when he when he retired. And he yes, was on TV the every yes week. Yes, chance got lower, you know, quieter and quieter. People they chanted for people that like AJ. So dumb. Yeah, it was. It was. It's no. There's yeah. no logic behind no, it. No, not really. Because they still he still got tra- chanted like crazy. Oh yeah, absolutely. So and, dumb. Can, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then we had Wharton versus Rey Mysterio for the main event, and uh, I wouldn't normally give two shits about this match, but it was actually very good. Yeah, it's not and a very here's popular one choice. of the things that I noticed. So Ray's been back what a couple months, right, or a month at least? Probably about Came a about month. Back at SmackDown End of 1000. October. Yeah. So I've noticed that every single person that has worked with Ray so far seems to have a tough time working with Ray because he's too fast. I don't know if it's that or he's smaller and they have a trouble with it. Orton, no problem since they've worked together previously. Yeah. It just seemed like it gelled very well. To be fair, he hasn't had a match except for with Nakamura against someone he hasn't had a match with. 
Right. He's worked with Jeff. He's worked with The Miz. Yeah. But they all didn't seem like they... Well, The Miz isn't exactly the best at carrying. No. No, he also like... wrestled uh, Andrade, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Touche. But but anyway, regardless, um, like I said, I enjoyed it for what it was. They only gave it a couple minutes. Um, you know, Ray does his little slide thing outside the ring. Orton hit him with an RKO from that. It was a Ooh. cool spot. And then Orton hit his... Because he had to go so low, so he hit his elbow on the ground. He was cursing. He heard the uh, camera cut it out. Mm. And then... Uh, Go back in the ring, Orton hits another RKO, and that's that. Tries to rip the mask off throughout the match. Typical Randy Orton, since yeah. he loves sticking his hands in holes. So he used the eye holes, obviously, to rip yeah, it. it's true. And then he puts a chair around his neck, a la Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. Throw mm. him into the ring post. That was it. Randy cool. Orton gets himself over as a heel even more. Yeah. Well, you know, they've Brave been... Mysterio. People love him. Yeah, it's true. They've been doing a good job with yep. him, too. So, like, I would assume this is probably going to be a TLC match. Yes. Or something like that. Um, Not a TLC match, but a match at TLC. It might be Stairs a... Stairs match. Uh, <laughs> uh, or chairs <laughs> match. They did... Remember when they had Kalista versus Baron Corbin in a chairs match? That was under... That was actually a decent match. Well, it was mostly because Corbin just threw all of the chairs <laughs> into the ring. Yeah, it was good. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. that Big they Show do versus that Luke Harper in a stairs match. Yeah. And that was, was a couple Dolph years Ziggler ago. And, no, it was Dolph Ziggler and Luke Harper. It was uh, Eric Rowan. That was Rowan a ladder versus... match. That was the year before. Was it the year before? Yes. Oh, okay. That was like when we first started yeah, yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we... was a good match. That was yeah. like the first match I watched on the... Uh... That was that was like um, back when we thought Dolph Ziggler actually had promise. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could still, see this guy going so No, it was funny <laughs> because we were talking about it, and you were like, this Dolph Ziggler guy, I hear really good things about him. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, obviously it doesn't do him any good. So. Oh, God. But, yeah, are we are we done talking about this crap now? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, and you didn't even have to watch one of the shows. It, it's true. Son of a bitch. I, I came very close not to watching Raw either. You should have. You should have yeah. played Pokemon. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> So, uh, all right. So yeah. so, yeah, that was episode 20 of our podcast. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.